Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sass Sass, and welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. Yes, cigar time, of course. So today we're smoking a cigar sent over by Roger, the Working Man Cigar. And the reason that you know you guys gotta keep hearing me saying who sent me the cigar, we we exchange cigars. So even if I bought it myself, sometimes I just don't mention it. And uh, but if somebody sent me the cigar, I want to mention, make sure you know that that is their palate. That is the that what they recommend and send it over. So that if uh, you see me reviewing a cigar sent by someone else, they might review the same cigar too. You should go check it out. Okay. So yeah, today is this um, Hoya de Nicaragua. The Hoya de Nicaragua Cuatro Cinco Adicion Americana TAA. Exclusive. That's that's a mouthful. That is mouthful. All right, try again. Hoya de Nicaragua. Cuatro cinco edition Americana TAA exclusive. There you go. So, uh, let's take a look at the cigar. All right, it is six by fifty four box pressed torpedo. That used a Criollo wrapper from Jalapa, Nicaragua, and then uses a, uh, a Dominican binder and filler from Nicaragua. Okay, it was rolled into this nice, beautiful chocolatey uh, cigar shape, and then aged another year in white oak barrels. MSRP is fifteen dollars and. 500 boxes of 10 cigars. Okay. All right, so let's go. Um, I know that's supposed to be like number, like Cinco is five and Pacho is four or something like that. So I, I'm not too, too sure what's going, like what the meaning, why it had to be four or five, but you know, we'll give it a try. Ooh. Very sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Like cocoa, coffee, mocha, woodsy smell. Ooh. Now, first whip is a, uh, like for the first whiff of it was a lot stronger. When I go back to it, it's lighter. But if I try harder, I will, I will be able to smell it. That is um, scary, 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 good smell. Fifteen dollars. All right. Foot band says TA exclusive. What's the size says? A Deschamps Americana. And now over here. So it's very like, I don't know, Top Gun ish. <laughs> Look, all right. Uh oh. There's some leak in there. We'll see. Box price. Okay. There's like some staleness of the barrels. Bear wood, woodsiness, leather. Mm. A little bit peppery note. 
comes to my my nose when I take a draw. So I guess there's some pepper in here, supposedly. So let's light it up. <clears throat> Let's see what this holds. Maybe this is good. Who knows? It smells good. Draw is very good. Oh, right away. Is that uh, some sort of spice? There's like a flat. Spicy, tingly spice. Woodsiness. Coffee. I'm gonna say there's a little bit of like toasted nut somewhere. There's a little bit under that spice. More like a peanut shell kind of kind of nuts. Smoke output is good. What is that taste? Almost like nutmeg, but it's not. It doesn't taste bad. It's kind of confusing though. So, um, yeah, let me smoke through one third and I'll be right back. Try to figure out what this is about. All right, one third of the way through. One third of the way through. Now, I just say the, the ash just fell off. It's a very nice powdery white ash. Tastes pretty good. It's sweet. It's got a little bit of that oak wood taste to it. It's got sweetness to it. It's got a really weird pepper and baking spice or some sort of thing like that. And then it's got a little bit of, I want to say musty or earthiness to it. And, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. But it's not bad. It actually is quite enjoyable and it burns well. The construction is not bad. I am kind of happy smoking it because it wasn't bad. So yeah, that's the first third. We'll see what the second third brings us because that's where the sweet spot is. I'm hope, hope I'm hoping that the flavor ramps up and everything. Now the strength roughly about right now, medium, medium, medium. Yeah, earthiness is going through. <clears throat> Yeah, so I will smoke the second third and come back and let you know if we can set a price on this yet. Be right back. All right, two third, guys. <laughs> I smoke a little bit more than I should. Um, the second third, I think the strain got out just a little bit, medium, medium plus. And the flavor, it's got a little bit of creaminess added to the flavor. Pepper starts to ramp out a little bit, so it's more noticeable on the retro hill. And it's it's pretty good. It tastes pretty good. It would have been better if I didn't hear the bad news, because um, by the time you watch this right now, it'll be very late. But right now it was actually I was talking with the boys in the Discord, and we found out the Davidoff year of the collector's edition is 18,888. So we won't be able to review that one because it's way too high to review. But yeah, it's unfortunate. I, I wish I could review it, but that 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 price is crazy. That price is crazy. Oof. But yeah, let's take a look at the band. This is the band. I think this is a pretty normal band. I do like that pack, that the little gold patch on the side. It's pretty cool. It says Obras Maestros. Obra Maestros. Obra Obra Maestros. 
Pretty cool. Pretty cool event. And this back end is also printed. Most Nicaraguan cigars. So yeah, pretty, you know, at least they, they made the effort to make both sides of the band. Very, very, very cool. So far, not bad. Um, I think the cigar is in the... I don't even remember how much I say it will cost. Um, I think it's at the... Fourteen to sixteen and a half range. Fourteen to sixteen and a half range. That actually tastes pretty good. Fourteen to sixteen and a half range. I feel like if you if you continue to age this in a barrel of some sort, it will actually enhance it a little bit more. Or if you decided to go with the bourbon to go with that. I mean, not even bourbon. Uh, white oak. I will say you want to drink something like a Japanese whiskey uh, with the mitsudara. Um, uh, barrel to go with that might go really really well but right now I don't have that I don't have soda so you know I, I gotta give a range that could happen but this is where it goes so right for me it's about $14, $15 right now but I think that you know if uh, based on what you're drinking it could alter that so I'll say you know between $14 and six and a half. so right now for me it's 15 I need to look at how much I say it was but uh, yeah, so far so good. And we'll just finish up and we will go to the summary. Be right back. All right, done. Okay, so last third, the flavor just dropped. The flavor dropped a lot. It's there, but it dropped. Mostly at the retro hell now. Like the puff itself has almost no taste, just the retro hell now. Because that, I'm going to stay at $14. $14 range is where I'm going to stay. Um, because last year wasn't that enjoyable. It was just puffing. So $14 is the final number I'm going to give for this. And it's still a good cigar though. $14 is still a pretty, pretty good, good cigar. I mean, you, you, can, you can definitely enjoy it. Uh, it's nice construction and everything. Uh, it did burn a little wonky at the last turn. You see this? Wee. So, uh, but overall, the draw is pretty good. The taste is pretty good. Uh, I just wish that the, the third didn't drop off. If the third didn't drop off, I easily 15, 16. But because it did, we gotta we got to be fair, right? we got to be fair, so we dropped out to 14. Okay, 14 is where I'm going to stay at. So, should you try this cigar? You should. It's still pretty good. Uh, that... Creamy, musty flavor. It's kind of different. It actually tastes pretty good. So I will recommend it. Anyways, that will be it for this cigar review. Make sure to also check out Roger's channel, Working Man Cigar. There's overviews. And um, if you like this review, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Uh, if you want early access, you can join our membership. If you want to listen to more stuff, we also have podcasts on Sundays. If you want to uh, uh, support our swag, we have t-shirt right under somewhere in the below. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.